What's up guys and welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved. I always feel like I'm starting every episode just sitting in this corner waiting for my meat to cook to prepare for the episode. But today is going to be moving day. We have to get out of this house today. We have to make progress on our fortress and get the whole family moved down there because this place isn't safe. Once again, I logged in today to find Sam standing right here at about a third health. He was beat up, he was all bloodied and stuff like that, and I found sentry over here rather than where... Oh, what the hell? <laughs> oh, oh, what, what am I doing over here? <laughs> this game is so buggy. I, I found sentry over there rather than over here where I normally leave her. And when I checked her inventory, she had a bunch of berries and a bunch of arrows and a bunch of really weird things. So what happened was a very large dinosaur, either a Spinosaurus or a high-level raptor or something, started attacking Sam through my wall. And Sam couldn't defend himself because he's not as big as, uh, as something would be sticking its head through my building. Fortunately, Sentry did her job and walked around and killed it. But I don't trust this place anymore. It is just not secure. The game is too buggy, as you can see, to, to really risk keeping them here any longer. So today, we're going to get everybody moved down to the base and make some progress. I talked a little bit last episode about how I wanted to lay out the base. How I wanted to have two big buildings, I wanted to have guard towers in each corner, and originally those guard towers were going to be so that I could go up there and get arrows out of a box and fire arrows using my bow at anything that's attacking my base, whether it be a, a, a Alpha Raptor or a T-Rex or something along those lines. But when I thought about it more, I remembered that bows aren't very useful in this game. They're really good against people. They're really, really bad against dinosaurs. Like, it would take hundreds of arrows to kill a pretty big dinosaur, and by then it's already broken into the base. So I wanted to put turrets at the top of each tower, but I realized that I don't have the resources to make, like, a lot of ammunition and a lot of... I don't have a lot of metal and stuff like that. I live in the south. So I looked a little bit further, and this is something they must have introduced recently or something that I didn't notice, but we can actually build uh, a... I think it's called a ballista. We can build a ballista turret, which fires a massive bolt, and I gathered enough resources to make this happen. This metal took me forever to get, but it was so worth it. All of this took a long time to get, actually. But now we can put this in the corner. I'll probably have two guard towers, and anything big that comes along, we can fire, like, a massive harpoon into. So can I craft this now? Is this going to work? Oh, my God. That took so much metal. And it's just that easy. Survivors can mount this and fire devastating ballista arrows, useful for bringing down large dinos and structures. So can I build arrows in here as well? Oh, here it is. Ammo. So yeah, we can build... Uh, ooh, that takes a lot of stuff as well. Metal, wood, thatch, flint, fiber, cementing paste. How many? I can build two of them. Do I want to build two of them? Yeah, I'll, build, I'll, I'll make two. I want to use one today. I know it's going to be a waste. Hopefully you can pick them back up, but I want to show you guys what it's like to fire one, and then I can actually have one to hopefully take down something big if it attacks me. I'm not planning on getting attacked. I think it's pretty unlikely, but it's cool. It's cool to have. So because the ballistas are so expensive, I'm probably going to put one on this corner and one on the opposite far corner. So if I have it here, I can shoot at anything down this wall, more or less, and anything at my front gate, and then the other one will cover the other two sides. I'm not really sure how I want to go about building this tower, because I feel like I need it have it... I need to have it hanging out, like it needs to be so that I can actually shoot down the wall. If I have it behind the wall, then I'm not going to be able to see out over it. How big is this thing, I wonder? Oh man, that is pretty badass and a lot bigger than I thought. Oh my god, this thing is so cool. Do not, do not lay this. Do not place that. How do I... Okay, good. So are you going to work for me? So we'll put one like that, and like that, like that, that. Oh, come on. Okay, so far so good. So we want one more high, I believe. That, and then I can get some ladders and put them up the side. This already looks really, really cool. That, that. Okay, so now I should be able to climb up this, and hopefully not fall into that, because I think that would be really bad. And then one ceiling needs to go... Oh, come on. Come on! Yes! Like that. Yes! Perfect! And now can we get some more ceilings? I can build the ceilings out like a fair bit, I believe. I can build the ceiling like that. Yes! Perfect! 
And then we can have our ballista sitting like right here. So we can see the front gate once it's closed, we can see down into it. And how does that look from out here, I wonder? That looks pretty cool. I might try to put some walls to like actually make it look like um, a tower rather than a kind of a, an abomination, but I, I can do that later. I want to be high enough that a T-Rex can't attack me, and I'm pretty sure... Actually, you know what? We have a T-Rex. I could just measure. What do you think, Sentry? Is that high enough for you to not be able to attack? Nope. You absolutely could still bite me right there. That is perfect biting height. No, okay, that needs to be higher. There we go. Okay, I think we got it done now. So we're one level higher. How does it... Oh, it hurts when you fall now. That looks pretty good. It's not the prettiest tower. I'll probably put a roof on it so that, like, uh, flying dinosaurs can't get at me while I'm shooting ballistas and stuff like that. Again, I'm not sure how I'm going to fill that void, but I can work on that. Let me see if it's with out, out of T-Rex range now. What do you think, Sentry? How are we looking? Oh, yeah, that's perfect. I don't think you're going to be able to reach me there. I don't think there's going to be many dinosaurs that can. So now, if I can just... Yeah, there we go. Let's see if we can place our ballista. I'm assuming that this thing has like a 360... No ground or snap point. Okay. I'm assuming this thing has a 360 degree like range of motion. It looks like it does because it has like gears and stuff on it. So how far out... Oh, this can go like right out to the edge. I don't want that though. I want it to be like kind of grounded. So... God, it's really hard to get a good vantage point on building in this game, because you press any other buttons and everything kind of locks out of position. Does that look okay? I think that's as good as it's going to get. I placed it. Wicked. That looks like a great spot for it, too. So can we get in it? Ride Ballista Turret. Oh my god, this is the coolest thing ever. Okay, we need to load it up. How do we... How do we, how do we put ammo into it? Oh no! Okay, that's good to know. Good to know. When we're getting out of the seat, we need to be facing the right direction. Awesome. So I've only put one bolt in because I don't know if people can like access the inventory of stuff like this belonging to you. So I'll probably have a chest up here full of bolts with a, with a key on it, with a, with a pin code on it so that people can't steal my stuff because this is PVE. But this is amazing. I really want to shoot something. Like I feel like we could hit that. But we probably lose it. Let's see if we can hit this dildo. Oh, whoa! That was awesome! That is so much bigger than I thought and so much slower. Can I pick it back up? Holy crap, look at the size of this thing. It's bigger than I am. Oh, let me pick it back up. There we go. One ballista bolt. Okay, let's... I kind of want to, like, bait something over here to shoot with it. Yeah, that's it. You want some. Come get some. Okay, he's coming. He's coming. Don't attack him, for the love of God. I'm going to get on you. And then I'm going to get on you. Oh, and we're loaded up. Hello, pretty girl. Fired! Oh, that was so good. I hit him, too. I don't know. It doesn't seem to do very much. Do you want to finish him off there for me, uh, Sentry? Okay, can I get my bolt back, please? It's just kind of floating there. And it's gone. So one bolt wasted, but that is fine. You know what? It, it was worth it. That ballista looks super cool. And for the rest of this episode, I kind of wanted to go get our dodos and bring them down, but it's way too foggy. I feel like I would lose one of their, like, dozen, because there is, like, a dozen of them. One of their little bodies would wander off. I would never find them. So maybe we can make some progress on our house. I've kind of found a style that I like, and I had this in mind, but I kind of like the idea of having a stone foundation and then wood for the house above, and then a thatch roof. It doesn't need to be as structurally sound as possible, like I could make it all out of metal, but like I said, it doesn't matter. It's PvE, we have a wall around us for that purpose. So maybe I can jump in between uh, some stages and show you guys what I mean when I want to build this. All right, that looks really good. I like that idea. I messed up. I didn't count right, so we need to add another layer of foundations and ceilings and walls over here, but that's not a problem. But now I have kind of the uh, the stairwell. I didn't want to just have a ramp leading up directly into the house because it just looks silly. So I kind of have this like double stairs, and this is going to be a bit of a deck and it'll have a rail on it. But to get into our house, we can actually do this, and then maybe we'll have like a little walk-in way here. 
and then the actual front door, and then the house will be kind of segmented into two larger parts that look something like this. So they'll both be slanted roofed, and then they'll meet in the middle. So this is looking really good. I really like this idea, but the fog seems to have lifted pretty well when I was building. It's only pissing rain out now, so maybe we can go get the dodos. I have a feeling I'm gonna have to blow out this wall because they're really stupid. Like if I do this, they're just, they're, they're gonna lose me. They're just gonna run into this door or into this wall over and over and over again. But let's see if we can kind of get the parade going. Oh, I can hear them already. Really? How am I, this is why I have two doors on the coop because they always do that. They love to block a door, okay. Oh my god, moving you guys is going to be so stressful. So can I open, I'm gonna open both of the doors out. There we go, and now we need to get them all to follow us. I know there's a whistle command, but I don't know how to use it very well. I don't have it set up properly, I don't think, so we're just gonna make every one of you guys follow. Come on, Dodos. There you go, oh, there we go. Come on, everybody out. <laughs> oh my god, this is the cutest thing I've ever done in this game. <laughs> Is that everybody? No, we still got some stragglers. Come on, guys. So we are leaving with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten dodos. We had eleven. One of them disappeared because, like I said, this place is not secure. And now you're all gonna follow me, right? Come, dodo hurt. <laughs> oh god. Ah, bug. Get away. Get away. Get away. Leave my dodos alone. No dodos. It's okay. Just leave it alone. <laughs> What are you guys gonna do? They are in absolute battle mode. Calm down, guys. All clear. We're, we're good. Everybody follow me. It's like a little dodo pack. They all stick together and everything. All you can see is little wings. Do we still have everybody? I'm gonna count everybody when we get there. I'm gonna try not to take my eyes off of them because like I said, they really like to disappear. Come on, guys. You're gonna be safe down here. We're so close. Okay, fall in. How many do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good boys. Now, up the ramp and into your house. Just follow me. Come on. Everybody up the ramp. I honestly don't have high hopes of this happening. Oh, one, two, three, four. Where are they going? <laughs> they got some major air on that ramp. What's with, what's with these idiots? Come on, you slackers. Let's go. Hey, you guys are the good group, so we're gonna leave you here. We're gonna disable following for all of you, and then what are you guys doing? Really? Oh, look, yeah, you found me. You lost me in the dark there, did you? Okay, come on, snap out of it. Everybody, everybody, everybody ready? Okay, and here we go. Up the ramp. You can do it. I honestly don't. One, two, no. It's like they get roadblocked, like some. Where are you going? Okay, we have the lone troublemaker left. What's your name? What's what's your problem? Frodo the Dodo. Of course it's you, because everybody loves your name. Can we... Oh, you know what? I forgot a lot of the time that you can actually... They level up for not doing anything. So we're just going to give you a bunch of health and then hope... I should have gave him movement speed. Too bad you can't give them intelligence. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Up the ramp, up the ramp. I'm right here. You can do it. You can do it. Yes, we did it, guys. Everybody made it. All right, now I need to put this wall on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where do you think you're going? No, 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 no. What am I hearing behind me right now? Because if that's a dodo, I am gonna be really upset. Frodo. Well, that was a long night of emergency building and dodo parading, but I think we finally have everything done. We have the stairs on, we have a secure roof, we have our reinforced door, which we haven't had before. They're really cool, they have metal on them. And then we can walk in and around the corner and we have our dodo lair. And I am gonna get us more dodos. We need more females because we only have about like two, three females out of the 10 laying eggs, which is kind of their purpose. But the guys do poop, which means we can put it in our compost bin, which I've put here with thatch to make fertilizer for our crops that once again, I won't have time to get to this episode. <laughs> I'm probably gonna try to get a little more done in my spare time and show you guys what I've built rather than try to build it under the time restraints of a recording because I find that once I get into it, every little troubleshooting mistake ends up taking away from the episode and I don't want to lead you guys on. I don't want to tease you guys and be like, 
you know, we're gonna build this great base next episode, there's not gonna be enough time, sorry, don't tune in next time. That's not the point, so hopefully next episode we're gonna have a lot more done, and I'm gonna have more to show you guys, and we'll be one step closer to the all-important kibble to tame something cool. Thank you guys for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. We don't need a fire extinguisher. We know we're not going to need a fire extinguisher. So we're going to take the fire extinguisher and we're going to throw it. If a fire breaks out, you know what? Oh, that'll be my bad. Really? Okay, fire extinguisher is gone. It has been ejected.